everyone, this is Kay here again with my buddy Gavin. We're gonna talk a little bit more about picking books for kiddos. Do you like to, to read books? Yeah, can you sit up for me please? What is your What are your favorite kinds of books? What are they? Can you say it? Construction and tractor books. Construction and tractor books. So my biggest piece of advice, especially for kids maybe two to three, is to pick books that align with the child's interest. So this isn't even all the tractor books and construction books that we've had, but this one makes noise. Do you want to open that up? Show how it makes some tractor noises. Noises of different animals on the farm. There you go, you can hear the tractor noise. Uh, we have Good Morning Digger. Um, this one is called Gavin the Little Digger, which my mom had made for him. Uh, Good Night Construction Site. Pete the Cat in the Construction. Uh, destruction, Push, Dig, Scoop. Andrew and his Construction Friends, which my mom made for my son Andrew. Three Grumpy Trucks, and there's probably at least 20 more tractor-related books or construction-related books hanging around our house. Um, so also, whenever you have kids that find a book that they absolutely love, don't be surprised if they want to read it every single day over and over and over. That's perfectly tip typical um, for that age. Um, all right, buddy, are, are you falling asleep on me here or what? Here, get close, sit up so they can see your beautiful face. All right, so another thing that can help you pick some books is things that kids might go through in their life and you can use books to try to help them relate and understand what they're going through. Um, Gavin, did you become a big brother one day? Are you a big brother? So we got several books for Gavin when he was two and I was expecting my second child who is Andrew, who's napping right now. Um, so we got lots of books to introduce him about how to be a big brother. Gavin, have you ever been to the doctor's office? Yeah, do you like going to the doctor? Yeah, it's not very scary. Um, you can help kids understand about going to the doctor with books. Um, this is one of my books from my childhood, The Bernstein Bears. Um, do you remember reading that one, Frog and the Stranger? Let me show you the cover of this one. This book um, is about um, accepting others that may not be similar to you. So it's about animals who find a rat who is a stranger and he's a little bit different than they are. And um, one guy, one, the frog, comes to be his buddy and then everybody else starts to like him too. So it's about accepting and embracing differences and others. Are you gonna take a nap? Mm. Do you need a nap? Should you go nap with Andy? No? Okay. Now, do you remember reading this book, Gavin? Potty Time with Elmo? So if you're a little one or that you're watching or the little one that is yours, um, is learning how to go to the potty or you are hoping that they will start that soon. This can help them understand the process of hand washing, going to the bathroom, wearing underwear, knowing when to go to the bathroom, flushing, things like that. Um, and this one is really fun because it also makes fun noises that the kids can play along the way. Um, if you have picky eaters, Gavin, are you a picky eater? Do you like meat? No? Chicken? Beef? Bacon? You like bacon? So if you have a picky eater, this is a really good book for picky eaters. So you can get lots of different books to try to encourage them to like different foods. Um, I, you can also use books to introduce different concepts um, like math. Do you remember reading this math book? Yeah? Um, this has lots of different flaps in it. You want to take a look at that, buddy? There's lots of different flaps for numbers, and this one teaches some basic adding in it too. Uh, you can use books to introduce things like science, like um, the outdoors, trees, growth, and things like that. We love this one, and actually this one, you can use a flashlight to shine through, and it shows an outline of a, um, of a little creature or an insect that might live in a tree. What's under there? Eggs. Eggs. So it counts eggs on this page. How cool is that? Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Um, we love different types of holiday books. So I've gotten um, books for Thanksgiving, books for Easter. Um, I've gotten Paw Patrol books for Christmas. Here's another Halloween book. Oh, we like this boo book, huh? Halloween. Yep. Halloween. Uh, we have a nativity book uh, for Christmas. It's like a little touch and feel one. So this can help 
like freshen up the books that you have by bringing out some of these books in a certain season. Mommy, yeah. this is my pile. That's your pile? You like it. We've read many of these books many, many times. Yeah, this huh? is all my pile. That is all your pile. We've read, we've read all these books probably at least 10 times, if not more than that, huh? All right, so my last my my last little stack of books is the books that Gavin and I have been enjoying while Andy is napping. What do we call this time when we use these types of books? We practice. Tell, tell the camera. Tell them out there. We do? Card reading practice. Reading practice. So Gavin's been learning some words, and we've been using these short books that focus on phonics. Uh, phonics is kind of how you learn how to pronounce certain sounds, like learning that the W makes a what sound? What sound does a G make? Gavin. What sound? How does a G sound? G. G. And kids learn that when they see a G, it usually sounds like G, so they can learn how to put words together. Um, and then you can use these shorter um, books that tell a story and that kids learn to enjoy. We just read this one yesterday. Do you know what the title of this book is? Want a ride? So we've been doing a lot of these reading practice books together, and Gavin loves that time because it's our special time to sit down and read together, huh? So some some little tips for you guys to think about as you select books for kids of different ages. Hope that helps a little bit. And again, the biggest thing is to read every day and make it a part of your routine so you don't forget to read and you help kids build those skills in there.